We next consider how voltage-gated potassium channels act to repolarize the membrane and thereby sharply limit the duration of the action potential. The cell has a problem. And the problem is, at the height of the action potential, a large amount of positive charges have been brought into the cell through the open sodium channels. And those positive charges accumulate at the membrane around the sodium channel. The cell has to get rid of the excess positive charges brought in by sodium so that the membrane can repolarize. When the cell repolarizes, the negative charges on the inside of the cell reset the activation and inactivation gates, which allows the channel to generate another action potential. The solution is a new type of potassium channel. This is a voltage-gated potassium channel, one that has an activation gate that is open by depolarization and closed by repolarization. Watch. Depolarize the activation gate opens. Repolarize, the activation gate closes. The activation gate on the potassium channel is just a little slower than the activation gate on the sodium channel. So let's see how they work together. First, depolarization opens the activation gate on the sodium channel and then a moment later, the potassium channel. Repolarize, and they close. Now we want to look at the flow of ions through these channels as they open and close, and how that affects the membrane potential, which is going to be plotted at the top. So, we first depolarize the membrane, and you can see the membrane depolarize at the top there, and then, of course, the activation gates on the sodium channels open, and it brings in an influx of sodium. And that influx of sodium drives the membrane potential to plus 55 millivolts, and thus that is the upstroke of the action potential. The next thing that happens, of course, is that the inactivation gates close and the activation gates on the potassium channels open. And that gets rid of all the positive charges that have accumulated by sodium in the cell. And that's why the cell repolarizes very, very quickly. In fact, the repolarization drives the membrane potential to minus 75 millivolts, the potassium equilibrium potential, as indicated by the undershoot to EK in the membrane potential record. You might wonder, why is the membrane potential driven to the potassium equilibrium potential? The reason for that is that the inactivation gates on the sodium channels are closed and the potassium channels are open. At that little patch of membrane, only potassium channels are open. In other words, the membrane at that point is purely permeable to potassium and only to potassium, and thus it approaches the potassium equilibrium potential. The dashed line in the membrane potential record shows what the repolarization would be if the membrane did not have the voltage-gated potassium channels. The membrane would take a much longer period of time to repolarize. That is the whole point of the voltage-gated potassium channels. They act to repolarize the membrane quickly and thereby sharply limit the duration of the action potential. Since the membrane is now repolarized, the channels now reset, and the membrane potential then reverts back to its normal resting potential within several milliseconds. And you have this very, very brief spike in the membrane potential that then quickly repolarizes and then reverts back to the normal resting potential. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the action potential. So now we come full circle, and we're going to consider the stretch reflex again. And remember what happens in the stretch reflex. We tap the kneecap, the muscle stretches, and it generates an action potential in the sensory nerve fiber. And the same action potential which appears near the muscle in the sensory nerve fiber will appear in the spinal cord a moment later. And the action potential has to travel about two feet along the axon. It can travel not two feet, it can travel three feet, it can travel five feet, it can travel 50 feet. It doesn't make any difference. And the reason is because the action potential is reproduced 
all along the axon by the action of the voltage-gated sodium and voltage-gated potassium channels. And the action potential had to get there fast. And the speed of propagation will be considered in another lecture because, as we shall see, the speed of action potential transmission can be adjusted in a variety of ways.